Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a mid-month uh, January reading for, for Cancer. Okay. Um, cancer, we'll be talking about who's coming towards you, what's coming up for the mid-month, and what can you expect. All right. Oh, wow. We have um, Page of Swords. Somebody's checking on you, <laughs> wanting to know more about you. Let's see, Cancer. I'm also be I'm also going to be using this um, tarot deck. This is my very own deck. Um, if you want to get a copy, it is now available at my Etsy shop. I will post the link in the description. Or uh, alternatively, you can also follow me in Instagram at Nomad Soul Warrior. I do have the link in there as well as feel free to message direct message me if you have any questions about the deck. All right. Cancer, mid-month January, what's coming up? Who's coming towards you? If I see anything related to non-love, I would also mention those, okay? Non-love related. All right, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love, in life, and everything in between. I will do 13 cards spread, free flow reading. Page of Cups. Uh, Queen of Swords. Seven of Cups. Hmm. The Emperor. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, um, ten, of one, uh, ten of Swords, okay, the Temperance, the Ace of uh, Cups, Six of Wands, King of Cups, beautiful. Five of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, we got enough cards now. At the bottom of the deck, we have Seven of Swords. Mm -hmm. For some of you, you are retreating. Yeah, I, I feel like currently you are retreating from the society or, you know, a slight withdrawal. You're not really engaging as much as you used to to the people, to your community, to your city, but it's more like you um, getting into balance yeah, in, in your life, trying to balance your energy. If you're working, you're trying to balance work and uh, play. Yeah? If you're at home, if you're, if you're a full-time mom or full-time dad, this is you um, taking some time off, let's say after the whole day of attending to kids, this is you like going to your cave or going out to see some friends or just go to the park and have some fresh air, you know? But I see that you are learning to balance your, your energy as the year started. Yeah? A lot of things are going on in your head right now. Yeah, a lot of, um, a lot of ideas, perhaps options too, yeah? Um, but with everything that may be happening around you, with all the responsibilities, could be your kids, your housing, your job, your travels, your um, vegetation, I see here, <laughs> but, or your dreams, yeah? You know, all this are kind of lumping together in your brain right now, and it's giving you that sense of clutteredness which makes it um, reasonable for you to, to get some balance in your life. Like I said, for some of you, you are spending some more time meditation. You know, sometimes if you're just, um, not say, I won't say driving, but if you're, let's say, in the subway or if you're on the train, if you're commuting to your work, this is you like taking that time, you know, personal time for yourself just to um, ingrain some peaceful moments, yeah, in your day to day because there's just too much, a lot of things going on. And um, yeah, in terms of love, 
well, let's focus on love now. I feel like um, you're wanting to have a new love. You're wanting to have a new beginning. You're wanting to have a fresh new start. But is it just a wanting? Hmm? Is it just a wanting? For now, you could have some options. Yeah, you're trying to assess which one of those that could actually meet your standards or could actually be the lucky person who could, you know, spend more and more time with you. <laughs> but for now, I'm seeing that you are just um, window shopping. You're not really um, engaging as much. Who's coming towards you, Cancer? Um, I see this could be a fire sign. Uh, somebody who for some of you this is someone that um okay many things i'm getting here one of which is someone that you may have um had a, a pause or a breakup with um somebody who who tends to be stubborn or or somebody who has their own way of thinking maybe different from you but this person um, has been contemplating about you know working things out with you after an ending so you will likely hear from this person yeah um, but I feel like when this person comes back you will still have your guards up because like I said I feel like you want something new here and this energy is not new this energy is not new and and for the most part I am getting that this would still end to a another breakup another cycle of breakup so it seems like you have broken up with someone and you know that process of breaking up is, is still going on yeah it's like you have said your piece they have said their piece but of course emotions cannot just be switched off right away right so it takes a while for for things to really be locked down <laughs> yeah it takes a while for for things to really say we're over totally over or something like that but it's it's a process it's a process so you will likely hear from this person again trying to get back with you get back together because they're still hurting yeah they still have that um the breakup still has an effect on them on your end um, part of you is feeling this you know the warmth the especially when you hear from this person you will you know that warmth that energy that this person brings could actually make you feel alive once again so for some of you you could even be thinking would i be sleeping with this person again you will be judging on that yeah but i do see you keeping your boundaries intact okay any new ones i feel like um new ones um you know new new energy <clears throat> i feel like there would be um a new person especially if you're single yeah especially if you're single right now i feel like there would be a very prominent or well-known person yeah who would <laughs> come towards you something that you can expect um cancer this could uh, go until the month of february and march you will be meeting this person and um yeah it feels like in the beginning you will be turned on yeah or someone very popular or someone very known at least perhaps in their city in their society you know there's that um this is a well-known person could even be a celebrity or an influencer or something like that and i feel like this person do have feelings for you yes but for the most part um i feel like this person is also surrounded with a lot of people a lot of suitors or a lot of minions a lot of um options so even if they have feelings for you they may not um fully express it in the get-go because they know that you know you know they're prominent so you could already have heard about what's going on with them from the news and all that so um this person mind you yeah this person do have feelings for you but i feel like they will try to hold off expressing how they feel um from the get-go because of that knowing yeah they know that you know they have a lot of other options but you know what from amongst those you know it's just a facade sometimes or it is what you see in the exterior right it's um 
what you see as a front like celebrities or people with who are well known yeah you know their story from the news but sometimes news are very highly sensationalized so sometimes yeah what you see from the outside doesn't really reflect what is going on in in the inside and i feel like this person may be sort of showing that they are never alone or they are always out and about a lot of people are following them a lot of people are looking up to them but you know what this person knows that all those are just um, for show yeah for show the reality i see here is this person may have been eyeing on you for a while now and um, they do have feelings for you but they are not saying anything yet yeah so perhaps if you start communicating with them you will start um you know that fresh energy of like getting to know somebody um, but of course since this is a very well-known person you already know what's um, what may have happened in the past based on their news based on on whatever that is I feel like you will ha always have that in mind so there is this sense that you are wise you will be wise yeah in entering into this connection with this person it could be a, a water sign yeah, this person could be a water sign or somebody who who has that gentle doesn't really have to be a water sign yeah regardless of sign this person will have that gentle look gentle stare yeah which could even draw you in <laughs> okay i'm gonna leave it at that let me know if this resonates in the comment section don't forget to hit like and subscribe and um, don't forget to check out my tarot deck and um, if you're feeling good feeling happy get a copy <laughs> okay um, the link will be in the description box or check out my instagram at nomad soul warrior uh, i do have the link in there and message me when you need any info about the deck bye now